What's up YouTube, it's Daniel, and today I wanted to kind of go over my August goals and what just happened over the month of August, and I know I was kind of spotty with YouTube and stuff, but I just figured, you know, even though it's already September 7th, I still have new goals and I have a previous one, so I want to just go over them with you and... You know, as easy as it would be to just kind of back out of doing the goals video every single month when it doesn't go perfectly, you know, I want to hold myself accountable and show you guys the truth and what really is happening. So without further ado, let's just get into it. So my first goal for August was 200 subs on YouTube. And I had this mapped out and I was going to do three videos a week and about try to get about 40 subs. I think at the time I needed 40 subs a week to reach this goal, which is very lofty from coming from where I'm coming from, you know, where I had like 30 subs or something, and I didn't reach that, and that's obviously all due to the discipline of me making videos. I did really well the first week or so, and then I kind of fell off and didn't make as many videos, so that was my fault. I do want to hit 200 subs again, but we'll get into my future goals for September in a minute. $500 profit from flipping. Same thing with this. I kind of, well, not same thing, but I I made a little bit of money. I made about 80 bucks from flipping, and I want to make a new episode of the flipping series, but I don't know. It's like I don't enjoy myself as much doing flips, and not to say that you should just do the stuff you enjoy, but I really want to try and grow some more affiliate marketing skills and just focus on my personal brand a lot more than trying to just flip stuff. So flipping is kind of on the back burner right now. Maybe I'll do a couple flips in the future, but I kind of just lost focus of this and mostly due to this one down here, but we'll get to that in a minute. Sell out of Amazon. So like everybody probably knows, I had two products on Amazon and I sold out of my second product in August. All the units sold out without using Amazon pay-per-click. If you want to know more about that, just DM me or message me on uh, YouTube. But yeah, so I sold out of my product two and my product one is almost out on eBay. It's got a couple units left, like 10 or so units. So basically I made around six, five, six hundred dollars profit from all of it combined. So I still made lots of money even though I couldn't sell with Amazon pay-per-click, but so yeah, that's kind of just my success slash failure with Amazon. Finally got done with my bad products and I can move on to trying to find a new one now. Two collaborations. I have two collaborations in the works and I actually three collaborations in the works. I didn't do any of them that month. Like I said, I, it's my fault for not just staying on top of YouTube, but one with Tanner should be coming out this weekend on his channel. I'm going to talk about just selling bad products and what you should do to kind of how you should sell your product if you can't use Amazon pay-per-click or you can't rank your product because both of my products were ranked really low. One of them I took off because I couldn't fulfill it, but the other one was ranked at the bottom page and I sold it using other sources of advertising. So if you want to hear more about that, tune in to the live stream. Hopefully it'll be this weekend. And then my other two, I have two more in the works with Luke and Patrick, two guys that also do Amazon. So hopefully those will come very shortly after the Tanner one. So I didn't do two collabs, and basically I just checked off, obviously, which ones I completed fully and which ones I didn't. So, oh, and then 200 subs on YouTube, I finished with about 56 subs, so a little bit short. So making $100 from affiliate marketing, like I said before, I didn't want to do any paid affiliate marketing. I wanted to just try and do organic sales through YouTube or social media. And I do have two or three people interested in getting a couple of the courses and they've been messaging me. One in particular is ready to pull the trigger and buy the course. So hopefully that goes through soon and that will be my goal of $100. Obviously it didn't happen in August, but it could still happen in September. Grow my Facebook group to 100 members, the Lifestyle Entrepreneur Group. I grew it to about 78 in the last month of August and I'm starting to post more in there and try to be more engaged with everybody. So if you want to join the group, there's a link in the description and I will add you as soon as you apply. 
And finally, the biggest goal that I had was launching my ebook plus the email campaign. So I've never done either one of these before and it was a lot more challenging and a lot more confusing than I thought it would be. So like I made the, I actually made a video about my ebook and stuff uh, yesterday. So if you want to check that out, you can, but I made the ebook on Canva and it took me a while to write and I don't know, I, I, th I think it's pretty valuable to a lot of people who don't know about the income sources that I'm talking about. And the email campaign, I used MailChimp and I actually got banned from MailChimp for having my ebook email. Like after they signed up, they get a free ebook from me, which I emailed them a link. And apparently it sounded too spammy and they just like shut my account down without any questions. I tried to, you know, ask if I could fix it or what I did wrong. And they were just like, you broke a policy, you know, you're done. So that was a huge headache. And then another headache was trying to get the link to work to where they could cl people could click links in the book while it's online. So a big problem I was having where I was trying to share it on Dropbox and Dropbox was just not working well with the iPhones. It wouldn't let them download it and you couldn't click anything and you had to have the app and it was just this big struggle. So yeah, that was a big headache. It took me a really long time to just figure out and everything. But if you guys have any questions about that, uh, feel free to reach out to me because I went through a lot of struggles to get this up, but it's finally up and running now. So yeah, that's basically all of my August goals. My monthly profit, I've kind of been just not tracking that much right now. I, I'm i just, I need to focus on getting these down first, honestly. So I will flip the board into my new goals and I'll see you in a second. All right, guys, I'm back. So I got my new goals up for the month of September. And as many times as I've said this before, I really want to just do all of these this month. I really tried my best to pick the goals that I want to be focusing on and the ones that I think will bring me the biggest long-term value. So let's just get into it. 200 subs on YouTube probably looks pretty similar to last month, but this time it only needs to be 144 gained subscribers for the month and doing a an interview with Tanner will probably really help my growth and I still want to do two collabs with Patrick and Luke this month and I think if I get a decent amount of new followers from Tanner's channel then that will give me some more leverage to be doing more collaborations because it's a little bit hard to find collaborations when you're not as big as other channels so hopefully this helps out a lot so 200 subs, I want to hit that by the end of September. 100 email subscribers, that's plus 95. I have about five subscribers right now. I've been running the ad for about two days, I want to say. So, you know, I might have to make some tweaks and adjustments to the landing page or the advertisement, but I think I can do this on autopilot with an ad launched 30 t-shirt units. So this is kind of something that's been in the works a little behind the scenes. I, you know, we have these, this big community of entrepreneurs and I feel like there's not that many clothing lines that represent entrepreneurs very well. There's like entrepreneur with uh, no vowels in it. And I know they're a cool brand. They don't have that many shirts, but I thought it'd be cool to kind of launch a new t-shirt idea. And I'm actually going to be posting about it I'll make a video about it, but I'm also going to post about it in the mastermind group and kind of just get everybody's opinions on, you know, what shirts they would like best. I was thinking about doing a, I have the brand Alpha Lifestyle, so having a little logo up here, like Alpha Lifestyle, and then on the back, it could be like a quote, like something cool, motivational, you know, something that would be a cool shirt to just wear around, you know. And I could do like novelty shirts too, but, you know, I want to make something that's more like, you'd want to wear just to wear because it's cool. So be looking out for that in the mastermind group if you're in there or look out for a video within the next few days. So I want to do 30 units of those two. 150 Facebook group members, that's plus 72. That's basically doubling my growth. Not as bad as this year, but it's very doable. Like both of these goals are very doable. I just need to buckle down and really like push myself and I'm planning on doing that this month so we'll see where I'm at at the end of September but in order to do this I'm gonna need to 
you know, add some more friends, make some more friends. I don't like just adding like totally random people, but make some new friends, add them to the group, go in other groups, you know, provide value, link them to my group, etc. So 150 members. So join the group if you're not in there already. There's big stuff coming. It's a great group. A lot of us, you know, just promote our own stuff, not spam, but promote yourself, you know, provide value, talk about whatever you want to talk about and join the group if you haven't link in the bio or link in the description rather book one consultation call at 25 or 50 dollars so 25 for a half hour 50 for a full hour and i definitely think i'm worth that amount of money i definitely know i have that much knowledge to provide especially someone brand new to the entrepreneurship game you know some direction and i really want to just book one call and get my first call out of the way and kind of you know try and just provide as much value as I can for people. I have done free calls with, I have done free calls with some people and I know that they've been valuable. So I want to just book one at a price that I feel good. You know, I feel like I'm worth that amount. Make a hundred dollars from affiliate marketing. This definitely can be hit. I just need to get one or two sales of the courses. So, you know, if you're looking for the course, either any other courses and you want more information, feel free to message me on any social media, leave a comment, etc. I'll be there. I'll answer everything you need. Create a shirt and call landing page. So right now I don't have, I have a page for my uh, consultation calls, but it's really just like a contact form. So I really want to spend some time making nice landing pages and really revamping my site. I've had this website, alphalifestyle.net. You can go check it out if you want. I've had it for a while and it's kind of just an old blog theme on WordPress and I really want to revamp it make it look really nice and I want to have a landing page for my shirts and for the phone calls and just any anything I want it to be a nice landing page you know I don't want it to just be some contact form where you message me and we figure it out I want to have some you know PayPal buttons or whatever like you can order it and it's just very nice and you know modern looking so yeah landing pages revamp site so that's everything that I have for right now. I think these are all very closely tied in together. And these are kind of all things that I've been working up over the past month, even though I didn't put as much effort into certain things that I wanted to. I definitely feel like these are the things I want to be focusing on. And these are the things that I can definitely hit this month. So that's it, guys. Those are my goals for September 2017. If you guys have any you know questions concerns comments just leave a comment contact me on any social media i'll always be there to answer you and leave a like that would help a lot and until next time peace